So we're here on a warm uh, Thursday afternoon in Soup Studio in London, and it's July, and I'm here with Richard Moore, who is about to uh, release something on Second Language Label. Uh, hello, Richard. Hiya. So um, given where you live at the minute, London must be uh, take some adjusting to. Uh, it does, yeah. I'm, um, I live in a very remote part of Scotland, just <clears throat> surrounded by mountains and goats. And, um, yeah, it's been a bit of a culture shock. I haven't been into a city for about a year. And uh, you've just got back from Ireland. What, what, what were you doing there? Um, in Ireland, I was um, playing with um, United Bible Studies and recording some material for a, an album and playing a gig in Dublin. Um, and that's something I seem to do every year. I just sort of... I'm a bit like a hired gun with, with them. I don't really write for them. I just turn up and get the keyboard out and, and play play what they want me to it's, it's it's really relaxing and no pressure the united bible studies are a group based in dublin and galway and various parts well other parts of ireland um they f were formed from a collective called deserted village which is a a label <clears throat> um formed a few, a few years ago um the the root of the music is irish i guess traditional folk but it sort of spirals off into i guess um sort of psychedelic improvisation um which i guess is is what it is but it, that's not really a good accurate term for it but um it's a lot of fun to play and it's yeah it's freeform freeform stuff really <laughs> few other musical projects or you have been anyway mm. what can you tell us about about some of those what would what would where would people have heard your music before um, well i suppose um the first release i had was uh, a cd called the secret joy which was songs classical song um i spent years <clears throat> just writing music for other people to play um specializing in song um and then i got in touch with um, david tibet and um, began working, well, working with him. I think my name's associated with Current 93, even though actually there is no, there's nothing to show for it. Um, it's sort of served me well, but I think it's time to, well, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about it now, so I guess uh, I shouldn't be, but um, I orchestrated Soft Black Stars. Um, and that's, uh, I don't know when that's coming out. I don't know really, David wasn't happy with his vocals. Um, there are all sorts of problems with it. Maybe it'll come out, but anyway, that's probably where, where most people know me from. Um, and then various collaborations, really, United Bible Studies, Orchestra Noir, which is Tony Wakeford's um, project, which um, really is a sort of, um, I guess, uh, very Schubertian chamber music with noise and um, the usual kind of uh, things that Tony's interested in, dark Victorian imagery. Um, so there's that, and then I'm I'm very I'm really you know very interested now in in pushing my own solo work as me as a musician, 
and I had a solo album out um, earlier this year, which is all piano improvisations. And the music um, emerged really out of um, touring with United Bible Studies in America. And it, there was a, a particular um, moment during a festival. We did Terra Stock Festival. Um, and I was watching uh, Bardo Pond and Mono and Kawabata and... I just suddenly had a great revelation about how I wanted the direction I wanted my music to go much more. Um, I guess I really like stoner rock, but it's not really like that. Um, but it's, um, I guess, uh, psychedelic. I keep using that term. It's well, a well, well used term, but I like the, the term, which doesn't necessarily imply drugs, but um, just something by its nature transforms your consciousness by frequencies and by whatever else. So I guess, um, I'm, I'm pursuing less uh, formal, formal, kind of written, composed music, and I'm much more interested in, I guess, I, I suppose ambient music, really, uh, which is another sort of naff term. But um, I listen a lot to fluid radio, and I think that's nowadays that's really the only music I tend to listen to. Something which is very spacious, um, probably very, almost like an oral um, equivalent of incense or candlelight. Something in, in, on a, unobtrusive, really. I, I, I really try and earth um, what I feel as the, the frequencies or the sounds of uh, the mountains, um, <clears throat> the kind of um, different forms of time that you encounter in a landscape. 